Let's show some love. So we got some family coming in. I decided I'd make tiramisu. So this is going to be a double batch, but I'll have a recipe for a single batch in um, the description down below. The first thing we need to do is separate um, the yolks from the whites. I need 12 egg yolks. With our egg yolks in here, I'm now going to add in three quarters of a cup of sugar. That is 12 tablespoons, in case you just want to know. And then we will mix these up. I'll turn on the heat and we'll do this over a double boiler. I'm checking right now um, for the temp. Um, you want to have um, the temperature be 160 degrees. It's not quite there yet. I'm going to let this cool down, but I'm going to put some um, saran wrap or plastic wrap over the top of this so it doesn't form a skin. And then I'm going to pop this in the fridge to chill. Okay, now I'm going to take four of these eight ounce uh, containers of mascarpone and um, I'm going to put that in here um, that's three right there this right here is four Now I'm going to add something in just a minute that is going to be considered heresy. And a lot of my Italian viewers are going to have, probably have a comment. It probably won't be a nice comment about it. However, I will say this. It was an Italian that, that told me this. So this is cream cheese. And... Cream cheese, I would agree with most Italians, is heresy put in tiramisu. But this elderly Italian lady who owned an Italian restaurant, she said that back during the 80s, when we didn't have mascarpone cheese that much, and it was hard to get, and it was very expensive, that in her restaurant, she used this cream cheese. And she would, she would do a half stick to a pound of mascarpone, which a half stick of cream cheese is four ounces. So for this, I'm going to do eight ounces. She claims that it made it taste better. And she claims that it made the... Um, the, the tiramisu cut better and so overall uh, that's that's what she did so I'm gonna give it a try because I mean she retired off of this stuff so hey who am I to argue now we're gonna just take this and mix it up very well just that cream cheese is so thick I figured it'd be better to go ahead and do this now and have it ready then to worry about it later. So we're just going to keep mixing this up until it's all one homogenous blend. Now I've got one or actually two pints of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to whip up with three quarters cup sugar. 
actually I'm going to switch out bowls because I don't think I've got enough room. So you want to use a big bowl and that one just wasn't big enough. Now I'm adding in my 3 quarters cup sugar. Which is 12 tablespoons of sugar by the way. This um, stand blender or immersion blender, it really makes short work out of this. I love it. Alright, so now what we'll do is we'll incorporate our saw blade into our cream cheese and mascarpone mixture and go from there. Stir, stir, stir. Now we're going to start incorporating our whipped cream into here slowly. This you want to kind of fold, so what you do is you come around and do like that, come around, do like that, alright, and just slowly incorporate this and fold it in. That's incorporated and nice and fluffy. I have here about 10 cups of cold espresso coffee. These right here are um, lady fingers. Uh, they're done in the Savidari um, style, which Savidari is a, um, it just basically means that it came from Savoy, this style. So it means that's a nice hard lady finger. Uh, the French part of um, Italy, Savoy, uh, Treviso, where this was uh, the tiramisu was uh, originated those areas used to be a part of France and so France took the lady fingers the Savoy biscuits or Savoy cookies as they were called made them softer and their version is called a boudoir biscuit or a boudoir cookie and so you have lady fingers that are done in the French style they're fluffy and soft and then you have the Saviardi uh, lady finger the true lady finger which is crunchy and so you want to make sure you get a crunchy lady finger this right here is roughly a 9 by 13 uh, portable tote um, from rubber made and so I'm gonna do two of these that's what this dish I'm doing today will do and so first thing I'm gonna do is line them up with the lady fingers all right, so true Saviardi style lady finger will have a sugar top and a cooked bottom. And what you do is you just stick it in for 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. And now it's starting to come apart, so you're good. So just three seconds. Okay, so you got your first layer fully in. Now we're going to take and layer our cream on. I'm going to shake this and kind of pound it a little bit. Get any air bubbles out. Something that's not traditional but something I like to do. This is something else people don't normally do but I like to do it anyway. And that is do a fine layer of cocoa powder in the center. It was an Italian, a Italian gentleman that actually suggested this. So I figured might as well. And I was told not to put it on too thick. But just enough that you got some of that flavor inside. Sorry about hitting the camera. There we go. Now we'll do another layer. So this is something that another Italian person taught me. That when you're doing it so that it has more structure to lay the lady fingers going in opposite directions. I don't know if it's true or not, but hey, that's what they said to do. I don't question.
Okay, it don't fit quite as well that way, but we got it to fit. And now we're going to put our um, cream filling over it one more time. Okay, now we use our cocoa powder and we dust liberally. You want to start on the sides and work your way from there. Okay, now the next thing is I'm going to take a damp wet paper towel and wipe this clean this up a little bit right here there we go first one down this is lidded. I'll put it in the refrigerator. It's going to sit for two days. All the Italians I've talked to said two days is what you need. Not this eight hours nonsense that you hear about. They say two days. So I'm going to do two days. So um, I'm going to finish up the second one. And I'll see you back in two days and we'll give this a shot. Dear God, don't that look divine light and luscious. Well, let's give this a shot and see how it tastes. On first look, my goodness, those layers. That is what you want. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right there. Now we got some. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. This is what you want. This is, this is what you want. I tell you what. Make this. For whatever blasphemy you think is going to be taking place with the cream cheese, you don't taste the cream cheese, but it does make it solid. That was a good tip. The the actual cocoa powder, man, that that is the clincher. Put it in the middle, perfect. Make this. Um, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. That helps out. And um, subscribe if you haven't already, because I mean you watch to end, so why not subscribe? And I'll see you again next time. Bye.